So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order. So that way you guys are up to speed with what is going away for this week. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, hit the bell notification because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the fit of the video. This one is nothing new. Um, the only reason I have this one on is because we are currently going to be doing the virtuous stuff for the Hunters, Titans and Warlocks. I've already done the review for the armor and the shaders, because if you guys don't know, this is actually being sold. We'll look at it once we get to Eververse. So let's get to shadering. So for this one, it's going to be the Null Zero, uh, Genotype Null Zero. I like the shader quite a bit. That being said, be aware that the off color is white. I know this is not a good example of it, but the off color is like this really jarring white, but it is really cool when you combine it with like, I think this actually looks really cool aside from this right here. We have new Pacifica Sync, which is the rarer version of this shader because it's the worn version. And I definitely would recommend it just because this is from, is this from Titan if I remember correctly, maybe? Um, either way, it's from a planet or it's a shader from a planet that doesn't even exist in the game anymore. And then War Call Terrain, which I think is pretty trash. You can definitely ignore this one. But if you're like, I need to collect all of them, then might as well. You might never know. Might combine something that looks really cool. As for the armor, it's going to be right here. I'm going to be honest with you guys and tell you guys that Hunters, I think the helmet's pretty cool. I think the chest piece is amazing. The arms are pretty cool. The boots, I literally can show you like almost five or six other versions of these, these boots. And then the cloak, as cool as it is, has this really weird glitch for, not glitch, but it's a, it's a really weird thing that when you see it on the chest piece, it looks really weird. It almost looks like it's floating there. Titans, I think the helmet is worth picking up. I think the chest piece is worth picking up. I think the arms are pretty terrible. I think the mark is pretty terrible. And I think the boots are like has potential warlocks i think the helmet's pretty cool the arms are pretty cool chest piece is really cool boots and bond i think are the only pieces that are like whatever so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 801 i do apologize if this was a little bit faster than usual but um 801 i i always review 801 twice uh in the beginning of the video the week tuesday we usually do an 801 video with challenges and eververse which is also why I'm going to be going pretty fast with uh, Eververse as well. So that is pretty much it for Ada. Obviously, we're already gone. So we're going to go to Banshee real quick. And yeah, I, I'm i pretty excited for next week. I think next week is, uh, or this upcoming, what I should say, is when the new uh, Into the Light thing happens. Maybe. If not, let me know in the comments below. I don't remember the date off the top of my head. But we do have Iron Banner next week, which we're going to be reviewing the new shader, which I still haven't gotten. So Banshee, let's talk about Banshee real quick. So it is Sunday today. So these are the Sunday weapons. Again, let me know if these change daily. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure they change. At least one of these changes. So Luna Lada 4B with Ensemble and Golden Tricorn. Iota Draconis with Ensemble Kickstart. Dire Promise with Overlo Ooh. Overflow and Range Finder. Cold Denial with Killing Wind and Head Seeker. And then Bump Into the Night with Tracking Module and Vorpal, which is actually... No, it would have been nice if Vorpal wasn't just like a 5 or 10% bonus anymore. Like, it's pretty trash on Heavy, specifically Vorpal now. But... Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, I guess. I would probably get this one. Killing Wind with Head Seeker is going to be pretty nice, especially on Cold Denial. Cold Denial is, uh, if I remember correctly, high impact, yeah. Ooh, with Full Bore and Ricochet. Damn, if this was ranged, this would have been kind of kind of nasty, not going to lie. Um, I'm probably going to pick that up, yeah. Then Dire Promise. I would ignore this one. I mean, Overflow with Range Finder seems nice, but at the same time... This is definitely not a PvP weapon because I don't even know if Overflow procs anymore in PvP. And Rangefinder did get nerfed. Uh, Iota, if it was an ensemble, if it was anything else, I thought I probably would say pick it up. But yeah, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Banshee. As for Zur, he's in the hangar on the tower currently selling the future War Cult armor. I'm going to be pretty fast with this one because I feel like we always see this one. So for Hunters, honestly. I'm gonna the first thing I'm gonna tell you guys right now if you really do want to pick this armor up and you think it's really really cool just go to Nessus 
and talk to uh, whatever her name, Failsafe. Talk to Failsafe and then just pick up the Exit is Dawn stuff or Exit, of, Exit is Down. This is the armor that you're going to be looking at. It's much better. Um, there is still pieces that don't change color, but we'll get into that when we get into that. So let's talk about this terrible armor. So the simulator suit, Hunters, I think the helmet's per worth picking up. I think the arms are worth picking up. I think the chest piece is worth picking up. And I think the cloak is worth picking up. Boots. I've seen people cool do some cool things with it. I just personally don't care for it. Um, Titans. I think the helmet's worth... I mean, honestly, I think the helmet, the, the arms, the chest piece, the boots, I actually like a lot of it. Maybe the arms are the only piece that are like the weakest portions for the Titans. But other than that, every other piece is really, really cool. And then Warlocks, I actually like the chest piece quite a bit. I think the helmet's pretty decent. And that's pretty much it. I think the arms, boots, and bond are pretty boring. So... Pretty much everything I just said also applies to the Exodus Down stuff. I think the Exodus Down stuff is really, really cool for Warlocks, Hunters, and Titans. I think just pieces are just going to be really, really cool and just better because they actually shader differently. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up for the armor. As for the rolls, I'll have them up right now. And yeah, uh, if you see a roll that's really, really good, you might as well pick it up. That being said, remember, I always say this, that... This is starter armor. Once you get to the part where you're doing endgame, I think the next thing you should be doing is farming uh, dungeon armor, specifically master dungeon armor, I think it is, where it's artifice armor, just because artifice armor gives you free, basically free three stats per armor. So three, six, nine, 12, uh, 15. So 15 stats, free stats, more specific or more more realistically i would say 12 because no one's going to be rocking uh like five pieces of legendary armor so it's going to be four pieces of legendary armor with an exotic and yeah i definitely think artifice armor is way, way better and again we are finally able to get artifice armor from pvp so if you're like oh i just do pvp you can do it through i think what was it uh comp or trials or both i think it's i think it's tr comp right now though as for the weapons, we're going to be looking at False Promises with Dynamic Sway Reduction and Swash, Belt Pecula with Shoot to Loot and Harmony, Spare Rations with Moving Target and Kinetic Tremors, Far Future with Quick Drawn Frenzy, un Under Your Skin with Tunnel Vision and Adaptive Munitions, Thread and Needle with Rangefinder or Vorpal, and Plank Stride with Killing Wind and One for All. So the red borders for this one is going to be this one, and I think Under Your Skin. Other than that, I'm not really a fan of any of these. I mean, maybe False Promises, just because Swash with Dynamic would be pretty nice. Uh, yeah. Spare, you can farm that right now if you really wanted to. Vulpicula, this is a pretty terrible roll. Far Future, Quick Drawn Frenzy. Ugh. Threaded Needle, there's better rolls for this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. As for the exotics, Hawkmoon, we have Eye of the Storm, which is interesting. Uh, Black Talon, which I definitely would recommend. This is a really good exotic. Aeon Swift with some very me mediocre rolls. And Teus Wards with way too high mobility and then Controverse Hold with way too high mobility. So let me see what I get for my exotic. Girl Falcon's Halberd, huh? Okay, okay. I mean, I already have like three of them that are, are like ones that I all like already use, but I won't say no to a better one. And as for Eververse, remember guys that the virtuous stuff is here. So if you guys are interested to pick this up, definitely pick it up because I do think the Hunters and Titans, all, honestly, all the classes got really good armor sets. Like it's only 15 bucks as well. I say only, that's literally the price as any other armor. I do I do think it, they, they should have priced it at like minimum five bucks because this is old armor. But yeah i think just the pricing for this is just pretty terrible especially for newer players since i got this like specifically because i only got this for 10 bucks and i got all of this stuff for 10 bucks while you guys are gonna have to be paying like what 45 for just three of these armor sets alone another eight bucks for this 10 bucks for this five bucks for this six seven like it's just crazy that they ask you to pay for this much stuff it's fucking crazy uh, Gamekeeper is going to be the first shader we're going to be looking at. I love this shader. It's such a dope shader. Um, the glow is not that great, but I, I love the like blue with the brown, which is weird because I don't think I would have ever said that like a year ago, even a few months ago. Like this shader is just really good. It's really grown on me. 
We have hazard pay, which I think looks terrible. Yep, does not change, did not change. Like when it comes to plat, like plate armor, it looks cool, but no, like I like the color combos. I guess it's just, I don't know what it, maybe the glow? Cause I like the light blue and the red. It's just, I don't know. Like maybe this just, maybe it just looks good on plate. Maybe uh, ghost purple for the transmit effect. We have defenseless, defen defenseless to be armed, callous mini tool ornament, which I think this is the better skin for it. I really wish they let us just put the default, uh, callous or not callous, the multi mini tool skin for it. Cause I dislike it better. And then Simon says, which, how much is this? Three, th this, they can eat my whole ass, bro. Uh, space time weft, which looks really cool. I don't know if I want to pick it up. It does make it look normal compared to the other looks that it has. Uh, war torn peregrine. We have uh, star racer 95. Razor scale shell. virulent grips for the hunters I'll show you what the warlocks and titans got hacker time I did not know it did all that and then for the transmit effects we have ossified entrance Reef Awoken. Fallen Arrival. And then for the shaders, Reef Regalia, which I definitely would recommend this shader. It's such a good shader, especially if we want to go for like an Awoken look. This is the shader you're going to want to go for. We have Copper Brand, which still not a fan of it. Bio Loom, which not a fan either and then smashing success which is the hulk themed one which whatever so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from all of the vendors i definitely recommend some of these some of the things that i've recommended just because again they're really cool uh specifically the virtuous stuff this is only going to be here for two more weeks um which is kind of unfortunate because uh i definitely think they should have it like in the archives i don't know why they don't have it in the archives specifically because i know people would want to get it but i mean i'm not bungee so let me know what you guys are going to be doing for this week By iron banner is going to be coming up i am currently playing some other things currently playing uh what's, what's this game called again uh vintage story i think it's pretty cool enjoying my time with it i am like everyone else that's covering destiny 2 i'm taking a big break from destiny 2 specifically like i only get on to make videos and then that's it really uh speaking of videos I will be posting the tier list for the season pass armor and the iron band armor this week. We're also going to be doing the virtuous sets for the Titans, Hunters and Warlocks. And we're also going to be doing the tactical sets and we're going to be doing the loadout sets. And we're going to be like, I have content for you guys. Don't worry. It's not like I haven't like I've forgotten or anything. It's just, again, I have two jobs now. And honestly, after I get off of work, I'm so tired that most of the time I just want to play a game and just kind of chill. So thankfully I'm getting used to the job. So I'm not as tired anymore. That being said, I still have to take a nap after I get home just cause I'm exhausted, but that's more just me cause I'm just an idiot with my sleep schedule. But yeah, I have a lot of content for you guys. That's not even including the into the light stuff because the into, into the light stuff, it's going to be crazy. We're going to be covering the armor obviously, but we're also going to be covering the weapons as well. This time for realsies because a lot of the weapons that we're getting back is weapons that I have a lot of connection to. Uh, a lot of great memories with those weapons so i'm going to be covering those weapons as much as, much as i can we're going to be going through the activity as well because i want to see if it's fun enough for me to actually play it and actually enjoy it not only that i'm actually really happy that bungie heard the the feedback about weapons being time gated so thankfully they're going to be doing two weapons instead of weapon, one weapon coming in that's way better and gives us more time to farm the weapons specifically the like special like skins or whatever so really cool appreciate that bungie always got to praise the positive stuff that they do and really show the negative stuff which 
and uh, there's really nothing too negative right now aside from just the game's pretty stale but that's not even their fault technically because the season still has like 80 something days or something how many how many how many days is it 64 days two months really oh shit oh oh god okay so i guess i have to make a list of things that i have to do before the season ends because mm, okay uh so helm stuff we're gonna be farming some weapons here here war table i think i got everything already and i think i got everything here already as well um yeah so i'm probably going to be writing down a list of things that i want to do before the the new expansion comes out which i am going to be playing i just haven't bought it yet because uh quite honestly i did not lightfall was just such trash that i did not have the energy nor the will to just buy the next expansion but yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys other than that be safe and i'll see you guys later